Hey guys, shalom. shalom. Um, yes, welcome back to our channel. Um, today we are going, or yeah, we are going to be interviewing my brother here, my brother Hillary. Uh, he's a, a local Tanzanian, and um, yeah, we just got a couple questions for him to answer, so you guys can understand, um, you know, what a local would think about certain things and how you guys should, you know, take it. So, um, without further ado, we can uh, get started. I'm Hillary. Yeah, as he said, Hillary. My father's name is Alfred, and the surname is Quizo. Hillary Alfred Quizo. Okay. Do you want to say something to your brothers, brothers and sisters here in Swahili? Oh, habari zenu jamani. Ah, kama mlivyoona tutaenda kufanya interview na kama kuna Mtanzania yeyote anayenisikiliza <coughs> kama kuna chochote nitakachoongea kitakachokuwa labda ni uongo au labda hakieleweki naomba tafadhali comment hapo chini ili tuweze kupata majibu. Yes. What he said. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, let's just get started. So, my first question is, uh, where where do we meet, or how do we meet? Okay, uh, <clears throat> I remember the first time we met uh, because I used to be a Uber driver. So, the first time we met, uh, well, my brother here ordered an Uber, and. Yeah, I accepted the request and I took him, ride him from home, uh, from there, beside the highway and uh, I drove him to his destination and well, good. I wasn't in a good mood that day, so I wasn't talking anything until we got there and this guy, man, he's very, He's very humble. Should I say humble or should I say because he went inside in in the supermarket and before he got in there he just asked me like hey can I get you something? Well my mind wasn't there at all. Uh, I was just I wasn't even thinking like I, I can talk to this guy and he just came by me and Ask me, hey, can I get you something? That's where my mind just came back in, like, Pop. okay, um, okay, you can just get. I didn't want anything that yeah, day, if yeah. you remember. Yeah. I didn't want anything. Yeah, because I remember. Um, <laughs> I was asking him, I'm like, are, are you sure, man? Like, it's yeah, nothing. Like, you, like, I got you. Like, if you you want something to drink, at least. Yeah, yeah. So I remember the drink. It was an orange Fanta. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, me and yeah, him exactly. drink that to this day. <laughs> yeah, I, I, exactly. uh, it's it's downstairs. Right? Yeah, I got I got a fan of right now. Yeah, so <laughs> I told him, okay, let's try this. Uh, just give me maybe a Fanta orange. Well, he went inside, he came back, and he gave me the Fanta. Well, we, while we were in the car, now riding back to his house. Um, that's where I realized, like, hey, this guy is a good man. Like, let me just talk to him some couple of things. Let me ask him some couple of things. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. So we started talking right there. And I asked him, like, hey, where are you from? He said, from America. Uh, because I realized that he's not a Tanzanian. But I didn't know where he came from. So that's where I knew that he came from America. And yeah, after there, we kept talking, talking until we reached the destination. Uh, and I gave him my number like, hey, bro, you can call me anytime because whatever you talk, I can hear you. And whatever you talk, you can hear me. Exactly. So we're communicating. Yeah, yeah we, we clicked off the jump because yeah. I, I want to say it was the first couple of weeks we was here in Tanzania and you know it's, it's hard if you don't speak uh, Swahili and he was pretty much the first person that kind of talked was we had an actual conversation 
So it was like, man, I gotta, yeah, I gotta keep him around. So, yeah, that's it's a blessing that, you know, he's here right now. <laughs> All praises, really. Yeah, yeah. But my, my second question for you is, uh, what was the first thing you thought when you, when you saw us as a family or uh, when you saw me? Um, and, and you heard that we was from, you know, America. Uh, okay. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, but my side, uh, because I'm used to like meeting with some different people. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I meet with Americans, white Americans, black Americans. So at the first time I was just like, it's okay. It's just like another guys who I meet, who I drive, I drive them at the Uber. So I was just thinking like, ah, they're, they're good guys. We could, we could maybe even be friends sometimes. And exactly. We could, because I see what he's thinking like. He's thinking big and whatever he's thinking, I kind of think too like, we are in in a way that we don't understand connected so i was thinking like hey i could maybe be his friend we could maybe even be friends sometimes talk yeah. so i left him my number and we started talking mm -hmm. that's where we began to be friends yeah and like so i, I could uh, say something that we say back in the states um it's my brother from another mother. Yeah. Like really. Yeah, exactly. Like he said, we, like if 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 he say something that he was thinking, I I'll be like, man, I was I was just thinking that. <laughs> exactly. If I say something, he'd be like, I was I was just thinking that too. Yeah. So, like say, we're connected. Yeah. Um, my, my next question for you, uh, where do we, what or yeah, where do we look like we're from, if we're, if from you Africa? were here, yeah. In, yeah. Tanzania, well, I could say you could be like a person probably from Arusha. Okay, Arusha. Yeah. Uh, my fellow Tanzanians, uh, I need you maybe to leave a comment and tell me if I'm right or I'm wrong. Like, he looks like he comes from Arusha. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. <laughs> um, so my, my next question, what do uh, Africans or more specifically Tan Tanzanians uh, think of the African or the African Americans or the diaspora? Because it's, it's a lot of people coming from all around the world, um, the diaspora coming back. Well, I can say uh, Tanzanian people are very welcoming people like it's very peaceful here mm -hmm. we haven't had a wars or maybe this person and this person being conflicting or some stuff like that no uh tanzanians are very welcoming and tanzania are very good people uh, i can say that but wherever there is good, there must be bad. So you've got to be, you know, prepared. Mm -hmm. You might meet good people, but you might also meet bad people. Yeah. So you just have to be careful, like, you know, your story. Yeah, exactly. He, he, he know my story. This is the friend that I called yeah. when the other Uber driver um, was trying to charge me uh, 50,000. Uh, <laughs> shillings. <laughs> so yes, this is this is my my brother here that I yeah. call. Mm -hmm. um, so my next question: mm -hmm. uh, Where wh or were you ever taught anything about the about the Atlantic slave trade, um, about the diaspora? Yeah, um, I think I studied it when, uh, when I was a little bit young, when I was at school at secondary school that um, there were colonialism in those years. The colonialists from Germany, from British, mm -hmm. 
they were the ones who come here and take us as slaves they take us they take us to the market the markets where anybody any white guy could come and you know just got money okay i need this one i need this one and then they buy it that's where a lot of Amer black american came that's where a lot of black uk's a lot of you know that's where that's where black people uh spread it all over the world yeah. so yeah. yeah so we pretty much got the same uh way of teaching i guess because yeah. i was taught the same way <laughs> yeah. pretty much mm. so it's the truth yeah yeah um next question is about some business so um are there business opportunities uh, here for the returning diaspora yeah there are a lot of business opportunities you know like the ideas mm -hmm. you've got, yes. like the ideas you presented, mm -hmm. like those are the main ideas. Yeah. Everything you said, uh, the, all the ideas you gave, uh, they're pretty much, you, you can do all of them here. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's what I mean, like, you know, delivery, starting a delivery business. Yes. Tattoo. I don't know. Yeah, we don't gotta get into specifics. But <laughs> exactly. Like yeah. say, we 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 uh over here with journey with us, we definitely have a lot of big ideas um, that can uh, what can I say um, be very profitable. Um, that can yeah. actually help a lot of locals. That that can really um, you know change in a way that's really not changing this culture but helping it in a way so yeah thank you for that too <laughs> um so my next question is what can the diaspora expect when they're trying to return to their former home uh, um i can say that they should expect uh, a warmly welcome I warmly welcome, as I said, people here are very good, so you will have a very warm welcome. But also, you should be prepared. You know, the first time, the beginning is always the hard point. It's always the hard place. Whatever you start, you you start in a hard way, but when you get used to it, you'll see like it's very good. Yeah. yeah, I'm comfortable now. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. That's what's up. Um, so I, I guess my, my next question would be, uh, what is the most difficult part of the diaspora returning um, from the from 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 your standpoint? Okay, I can say maybe um, maybe just the fear. Fear. Exactly. Y'all, you yeah. guys hear that? Like even he said it. Fear. Fear. You can't yeah. you can't let fear stop you yeah you've got to be sure people they're not sure like yeah should i go hey how will i survive then how will i how am i going to live how my life will be there yeah hey you can survive here i can assure you that yes everything is very different from any other place in the world mm -hmm. cheap stuff cheap everything Exactly. So guys, you, you really gotta move by faith. Yeah. Move by faith, guys. Like Abraham. Exactly. He said, like Abraham. Yeah. The that mindset. Faith. Yeah. So uh, I guess my, my last question would be uh, how do you feel about <clears throat> us being here and the diaspora returning in general? Okay. At first, I would say maybe uh, it's normal. It's normal because you know a lot of diapers come here. Uh, they just come and go. They just come and go. So we are used to that. Yes. I would say yes. It's it's a common thing. Okay. Uh, so normal. so how do you feel um, about us returning and trying to actually stay here and live here and build here and you know survive here? Yeah, now I was coming to that point. Okay. So, 
that was how I would think before. But yes. right now, what I feel, right now, I feel like, you know, we are creating something very big. Yes. Like, you know, our brothers coming here, it's something very nice. We feel warm. Like, yes. We are together. Like, yes. we can do what we want. Like, we can do anything. So, I can't say that I feel grateful to the Most High mm. yeah. uh, for us meeting. Yes. It's like just, you know, the Most High is leading us. Yes. Like, we, I never knew, I, I, I've never thought like I would meet you. Yeah, exactly. I never thought something like that. Yeah, our first series talk, we was talking about the Most High and yeah. how, you know, everything is predestined from the beginning. Yeah. And we were supposed to meet. You know, we were supposed to be sitting right here, talking to each other. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, just all praises. I was just so grateful that the Most High led us to this point. And this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. So, um, yeah, that's, that's all my questions. Um, do you have anything to say before we close up? Uh, guys, you should come here. You should really come here. Like, do you see the, the view here? Do you see the green? Did you, can you, do you see the ocean? Oh um, man, <laughs> you should come here. There are a lot of opportunities. There are a lot of fruits, a lot of green stuff, mm -hmm. vegetables, fresh, everything fresh. You can just do it by yourself. You can just say, hey, I want to plant some vegetables here. And you can eat vegetables, <laughs> fresh vegetables. So I gotta say, hey guys, you're welcome to come here. Yes, come here. Yes, yes. So yeah, man, like, I, it's, we say it time after time, but we, we really can't say it enough. Um, you guys really have to come to experience it yourselves, um, to actually, you know, do what you really want to do. Your dreams can be here, to be honest. So, um, yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty much the interview. And, um, you know, thanks for watching, guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure you guys like, uh, comment below, uh, share the video. And if this is your first time watching, make sure you guys subscribe. So yes, um, there's yes. more to come. Yeah, more to come. Like I say, this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. So all praises to the Most High. And yeah, yeah. shalom. Shalom.